Hello beautifuls, my name is Coivier, I'm the creator of Juju Time. I am excited to share this new series called The Sacred Serpent with you. In The Sacred Serpent, we explore the principles of Afro-mystic concepts so we can practically apply them to our lives, our magic, and most importantly, our character. Today, we are exploring one of the principles of Eshu Alegba through one of their most infamous tales about them. There are many variations to this tale, um, and when it comes to all tales, but more or less, the tale that is often told is the tale of him and his hat. So in this tale, Eshu is wearing a hat that is red on one side and black on the other side. In some tales, the hat is red on one side and white on the other side, but overall, you get the point. So anyway, Eshu is traveling um, to a crossroad and sees these two friends crossing as well in front of him. So stepping quietly, he walks between the two friends. One friend sees the red side of the hat and the other friend sees the black side of the hat. So anyway, time passes and later that day, the two friends are chit-chatting and one friend mentions how they really liked that sleek black hat they saw the man who walked between them wear. The other friend says, no, no, I saw that hat clearly and it was a beautiful red hat. And so the other friend responded like, are you saying I'm a liar? <laughs> the hat was as black as a night sky. And the other friend, I imagine they're getting very angry, very annoyed. Um, and they say something like, oh, you think I'm blind. The hat was as red as the blood I will spill from your nose. <laughs> so basically, things are getting intense, okay? Very intense. And they argue back and forth, red, black, red, black, until they physically start to fight each other. Now, hmm, from a distance, Eshu Alegba was secretly watching them fight. And he was just chilling, laughing at what he was seeing. I don't know, but I imagine him sitting there, arms crossed, head tossed back and just cracking up, sitting there living his best life. <laughs> but anyway, eventually Eshu walks over to these two now bloodied up, pissed off friends and he stops the fight and shows them how his hat is red on one side and black on the other. Then he just laughs in their face at the fact that they would fight each other. Now they are all bloody and their clothes along with their friendship is destroyed. Now Eshu, they stroll off cracking up. I imagine just shaking his head and just continuing to live their best life. <laughs> um, in some versions, the two friends, they hug and apologize to each other um, and they make up. However, in, in other stories, the friends continue their fight until the whole village is destroyed. Now, depending on how your version ends or how you feel the story should end, um, what you learn or observe also will change. But one of the principles that Eshu Alegua poses to us and urges for us to do is to view a person or a thing from all sides before forming a general judgment. In my own spiritual journey, and I know many of you found yourself in the same situation um, as myself, where you learn one thing and still realize how much you still don't know. For myself, I love it. <laughs> I love the feeling. It's like, it's like standing before the ocean 
or the cosmos and you realize how small you are. But yet, because there is only one you, made up in your own specific manner, you also realize how unique, large, and significant you are all in the same breath. It's, it's the both and philosophy. So as you are going through your own unique path, I support, guide, and facilitate you to take a view from all sides before reacting. And when viewing, attempt to view without judgment, but with open consideration. This is very true nowadays when we are looking through social media or even the media in general you realize that you are only shown one side and it's the one side from the view of another person's one side. When dealing with the internal work of your own being, consider the same advice because you are a universe within yourself. There is so much to explore and you get to use this vessel in this lifetime with the senses you have and was gifted with to be an explorer of the deep space within yourself. Explore your different sides. Watch how they change. Um, Discover your own both and principle in your own little yet spacious universe. Focusing on this, if you were to ask me, takes a full human lifetime. (laughs) So really, you don't have time to impose how your universe works as the general judgment of how all universes should work. Within your magic and practice, this principle is such an expansive space. So... Whether you are a wisdom seeker, a truth finder, a serpent shedder, a chain breaker, um, a machete wielding, a crossroad laying, um, a storyteller, a magic caster, um, a nature listener, a lot thrower, a ritual maker, um, an omen prophet, a prayer warrior, um, a a potion alchemist. (laughs) The list goes on and on to the abundance we have within us. But as you are holding that herb or crystal in your hands or working with the elements of water, fire, air, earth, or observing the sun, moon, or your own sacred texts, consider that just maybe there is not just one side and not just one principle that the divine embedded into it. Ask what if, ask and seek the knowledge and view of all sides. On top of that, Explore the in-between space where the sides no longer exist. And when you come back around in your own body, you will have a sliver more information and understanding of the energy to better cooperate with it, to understand it, to utilize it. However, all of this is done by also making sure we step inside ourselves and take the view of our own intuition and guides more seriously. Eshu Alegba has been demonized and called the devil or um, a trickster, but the scope 
of what we can learn from them is magnificent. It's so creative and graceful and filled with raw potential and possibility. There is even mystery in their own name and how they move in the world. It's only when you realize they are all of those things and more do we begin to understand the scope and capabilities of ourselves and the world around us. It's no wonder that in many traditions, the principle of Eshu is honored first. If you cannot tell, I have a love and awe, but also a careful but wise curiosity (laughs) for the principle of Eshu Alegba. And my arms are open in what I will be allowed to understand when it comes to this principle or any other principle that I explore in my own life and the principles I share with you. For just like you, I am but standing in front of the ocean and the cosmos in complete admiration of how much I don't know. So I'm excited to get to be a student of myself and the world so I can continue to explore what else unfolds. There is so much more principles to explore with Eshu Alegba, um, along with the principles of the crossroad, the devil, and the principles of the divine messengers that I am so ready for those doors to open so I can grip my teeth into it. But until then, thank you beautifuls for being here with me until the next one. Truth and love.